up, you beautiful rejects? Just wanted to let y'all know that we are coming to WonderCon, Greg Coy and myself, live Sunday, March the 26th, 11 a.m. to noon. Come join us for a discussion about the current state of the MCU and DCU fandom. Should be a blast. Now, let's just jump into it. How's it going, citizens of the Reject Nation? We are back for yet another movie reaction. First time watching, and with me in the hot seat, once again, it's the ever unpredictable Roxy Stryer. How you doing, Roxy? When you watch back this video, you will see that we opened with me trying to fist bump you, and you <gasps> oh, <laughs> left me no. so hanging. You just wanted to hang out with the citizens of Reject Nation, which I, I understand. I was so concerned with them. But I was just like this, and so everybody at home... All the fist bumps now. That so our fights in there. Yeah. there you go. Blow it up. <laughs> we are here to watch Ip Man, people. Don't know much of anything about this movie other than it is at least some iteration of the story of the master who trained Bruce Lee. Very excited to check this out. And as always, before we hop into this, do all the regular things. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And be sure to follow Roxy on social media as well as the World Girls. How are the World Girls doing? We're whirling. Whirling and twirling. That's good for a martial arts movie. As always, if you want to see the full experience alongside us, uh, everything that doesn't make the reaction highlights, come on over to patreon.com slash realrejects. Subscribe over there. Sync up with your own copy. Cannot show you the full movie, unfortunately. But hey, it's a fun time just the same as well. Thank you to Prepper for editing down these highlights. Roxy, are you ready to throw down? The year is 2008. <laughs> is it? I'm in high school. It man comes out. I'm ready. <laughs> Clearly not, because it's 2023 now. You don't know but that. You let's don't hop know. into this. <laughs> Oh, I'm already excited. <laughs> Damn. Martial arts got its whole own street. Yeah, martial arts street. Okay. <laughs> Start practicing all on top of each other. Much be rather flying a kite then. Having a fight. Would you? Would you? Would you? Would I know. This looks so good. <laughs> I want. She uh, might be the most stunning person I've ever seen in my life. Dude. I've tried to play it down, but it's just... Live your truth, all right? Live your truth, Roxanne. <laughs> you can't catch something that's unattached. Yup. <laughs> okay. Ooh. That flyback. <laughs> you got the best scene in the house, dude. I like he says, here I come, but he stays still. <laughs> Whoa! Jeez. <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> that was very endearing, actually, though. Yeah. Oh, it's okay, buddy. Dust yourself off. <laughs> oh, he's going to think that he told him. Yeah. Oh no. Ugh. Kick his butt. <laughs> 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 
，我都冇错，我讲事实啫嘛。你仲哦，叶师傅就喺上边，咁谂住揾佢啦。咩啊 ？Yeah, there you go. Go take it up with him. Oh, he probably thinks that Master Ip told this kid though. 哥，你话俾大家听，你系咪同叶师傅俾部打到飞起啊？你喺度讲大话，仲发出问歌？我执招差见到龙二师傅俾冇噶。你放风筝，咁啱就断咗线，跌落文哥屋企出面，咁啱又见到廖师傅同文。No， 过程咁啱又俾你见到晒，你边有咁多咁啱啊？就系咁啱啊嘛，系真扮咩型啊？影咗人哋好淤啊！淤咩啫？我点咁多啊 ？Dang， that's a debate。Yeah。Oh， <laughs> make up pants <laughs>。He, I did not expect a pantsing. No. 只系有人揾我声誉，我嚟讨个公道咋？讨咩公道啊？我咪公道。A justice. Yes, we know all cops are justice. Ooh, the stare. Whoa. Whoa. How do you do that? Gun must not have been assembled that well. 中气够。有时讲嘢大声咗，不过讲嘢大声唔代表唔斯文。廖师傅，这边啊。Look at the set. I know. 你又有咩新招啊？睇过？呢招系攻中有防，防中有攻，攻不离防，防不离攻噶。细路仔唔识嘢噶啦，行开啲啦。呢招咪专打人中路，好鬼犀利嘅日字中锤咯。你唔好成日记字诀啦，最紧要打到人。Yeah, yeah. Get out of your head. 我咪系咯。头先嗰几招咪连少，爸爸你睇，爸爸唔得闲一阵先啊， oh. 你明啊？系啊，爸爸。He had to have a flaw. Couldn't be too nice. Yeah. 有咩好睇啊？日日都嚟打打打，你哋唔厌嘅咩 ？I love her. This is a lovely garden. 唔好意思啊。Yeah. What? Should we move in? We can afford this. 你唔高兴嘅，咪同我讲咯，唔需要发脾气噶。好啊，阿 Tantrum， 关心下佢多啲，唔好成日挂住陪朋友，入去扭摸。行啦。Martial arts are taking over your life. I wouldn't say she threw a tantrum about it. I mean, that was pretty hysterical. All right, I don't know what you call it. She didn't lose her mind. Check her into the institution. 武馆街在哪啊？前面这个。Oh, good. Another great set. Yeah. 久闻佛山是武术之乡，所以专程南下，想跟佛山的武士切磋武艺。切磋武艺，咁即系踢馆啫。指教指教。Uh, good. Oh, he knows. Ah. Ah. Whoa. No. Ah! Whoa! Whoa! That kip up, damn! That was crazy. Oh! 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 In his legs? Ah! Oh! Yeah! Thump! How frequently does this happen on the street? I don't know. This must happen all the time. But the guy did accept his challenge. Do you have to accept anybody's challenge? What are the rules? So you get one of those and they don't? That I mean, doesn't seem, seem fair. Nah, his dude's got that big ass sword. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Damn, oh, the sound design too. Oh. Ah. Honk. Ooh, 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 jeez. You really want to piss me off? 师傅唔喺度。Oh my god! That's probably the master. Oh, you think he was in a master? Not here, and he's the master. It's kind of the vibe I got. Maybe I'm reading too it too far into it. That was really good. Yeah. That's some of the best fighting I've ever seen in my life. 玩咩啊，准？嗯，阿准都唔睬你啦。有时间就陪下佢啦。得啦。It seems like such a sweet guy. Oh, you're just saying that because he's always smiling. <laughs> Come 
What does it mean to beat the master, though? Do you get the school, or do you just embarrass them? I think, yeah, it's mostly just you're, you're embarrassing them, and then their students are going to have doubts about them. Ooh. Ah. God, you really feel those impacts, man. Ow. No, 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 no. Oh. Nice. Ow. Oh. Damn it. How are they doing this? Oh, no. They're all... They're all martial artists, right? Like they, This isn't stunt people. I mean, both. <laughs> it's probably like a bunch of stunt teams. Your job's not done. <laughs> Can't eat until we've beaten the best. It feels like a musical. A little bit. I love it. Like Kung Fu West Side Story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, there are plenty of uh, want ads in town. He comes into his home. Plenty of classifieds. Kick this guy's ass, honey. I'm with her. Don't break these things. They're so nice. Uh, <laughs> What's your bet right now? Why you think Ip is gonna lose and then go on some kind of like massive revenge spree? I feel like Ip is gonna beat this guy's ass right now. We just have quite some time left in the movie, but I can't picture him losing. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Ooh. He's playing defense, though. Oh, yeah. Don't break Damn her it, things. man. You had one job. Oh. Oh. Oh, pay. The wife probably heard the crash and was like, ugh. Yeah. Damn it. That's what I'm betting on. I'm betting that this whole place gets right. Oh, damn it, kiddo. <laughs> that is the cutest. <gasps> oh, oh, dude, now you've done it. Brat. Don't talk about the son I don't spend time with. <laughs> wow. Good wire work in this movie, too. Is there a word for people who hate kids? <laughs> yeah, can you be a philosanderist or something or a I don't know what sounds those were that just came out of my mouth right there, but uh the actual word is a misopodist, one who hates children. Isn't Ip Man great though? Let's get back to Ip Man. <laughs> <Ow>! oh, <laughs> like a brick, jeez. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Oh. That's so unfair, right? No, this is regulation. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, this dude's desperate. <laughs> the feathers is so dope. Yeah, it's such a great touch. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a spanking. <laughs> you must be a bitch. Damn. Thought the other guy was going to pay. You're 
，全佛山都知道啦。全佛山都知道，我唔知噃。<笑>你唔系第一日识我噶啦，我唔喜欢教徒弟噶嘛。晶晶，守秩序咁嗌，叶师傅，叶师傅，叶师傅。系哦。Oh damn. Oh no. And still, it just kept training. Is this about to be a World War II movie? Very well, could be. We got a couple more years still, but this just said Japan invaded China. China invaded Japan. Yeah! Oh. Wow. Wow. Is this true? I think this aspect must be true. Okay. Oh no! No! Homeless and forced living. Wow. 明成，我出去一陣，好快翻嚟啊 ！Dozen， 出面凍啦，再多件啦。嗯。快啲，我喺呢邊寫。She has such a natural way about her. Yeah. Oh no. 阿俊，小心啲啊！唔好整親人。Is he gonna start up a school so they can fight back? Maybe. Maybe that's how they'll make a living now. Oh, what a contrast! Yeah, that was a... like the contrast from the the first part of the movie to now. Is... Almost like Parasite. It's like a different genre. Yeah. Whoa. Gotcha, see. And the feathers. <laughs> yeah, good catch. What a different time. My clothes are all stuck in this room. I can't find anywhere to sleep. Don't worry. If you don't tell me, I won't remember you. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah, that's the least you can do after he set you up. Oh no! No! Don't fuck with my girl. 以前就话唔使做啫，而家咩时势啊？凡事都有第一次噶嘛。而家我哋呢度够人用啦。He's gonna go work at that mill, right? He's not taking any mill money. 你都请唔请人？唔请啊！啊！This got so sad so fast. Like life, I suppose. Oh damn! His name still carries weight. Yeah, well, I'm a little surprised he accepted despite all those other people in need. But yeah, that did seem not in his character, but his wife needs it. So yeah. This boss, he was a hard worker before, so he's very like to hire skilled workers to do jobs. Have time to get to work, right? Go to the bar and have a drink. God, just the color contrast with the food. Oh. Ming Guo, I'm not hungry. Can you help me eat, okay? Oh. What's up? Have you found your son yet? Last time he left, I don't know where he went. Oh, buddy, he's out chasing a kite somewhere. That was such a beautiful moment when he gave him that. What was in the box? I don't know. Is that about to be a big problem? Seemed like it. Now that the Japanese are here. What a moment that was, though. Yeah. 亦都知道我哋佛山就係武術之鄉，好想揾啲識功夫嘅中國人，同佢哋日本人比武接觸。有冇人願意去？有冇人願意去？有冇人願意去<笑> ？Just keep on asking, bud. No one wants to be a traitor. You'll get it eventually. 邊個打贏咗嘅？就送一百百米，我去。誒、欸，冇嘢麻煩啦。我都去，我都去。哦，係啊。佢哋搶曬我哋啲米，我而家有機會攞翻，天公地道噶嘛。Yes, yes, it is a fair and just world. 幫我揾翻個鐵盒。喂，冇事嘅，嚟，小心啲啊，嚟，過嚟啲。I feel like they're trying to know who the fighters are so they can kill them or something. Yeah, it's not a bad call. He's gonna find the tin box though. Oh. Oh, what is it for their entertainment or something? Partially, probably. Kaga, 
but also, yeah, I guess probably to break the faith that they could fight back at all. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. Okay. Uh oh. Jungwon, Doje. Yes, you are just gladiators then. This is so interesting. <laughs> Damn. Still keep your, your pants in your belt. So it's not as dark as I thought it was where they were like fighting to the death or something. Oh! Whoa! Damn! The use of color in this movie is fascinating. Yeah. Because oh, we are in a black and white scene right now, right? Full blown. Either black and white or just Sa like incredibly yeah. desaturated. Yeah. Oh! Ah, oh. Oh, Jesus, dude. Ah, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. These shots. Okay, so maybe it is as dark as I thought it was. Ah! Ah! Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Wow! Nope. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to find that tin. This dude just has so much poise. Yeah, he's like a true star. Yeah. <laughs> I do not like that guy. Yeah, he's doing what he has to do to survive, but he's a traitor. Yeah. He's bringing people where he knows that they're getting so hurt. Did his best not to bring Ip. <laughs> but, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> I want to learn how to do that. Yeah, sick. Ah. You gotta get up. Let's fight dirty. No, he doesn't let him be done. Oh! What? Why? This is why you're not the head guy. <laughs> Yep. Was he? I mean, that's the strong implication. He didn't look like he was going to walk away from that last fight. I mean, that act of defiance spitting in the general's face pretty much sealed it, you know? I feel like he's going to run the whole line of them. <laughs> I knew it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> You don't get to talk right now, dude. Yeah. You calm down. You're lucky to be here right now. I hate him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn! Oh! Oh! Wow! Wow! <laughs> Oh, Christ. Uh, they're all coming at him one at a time. I know, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> they were like, people are going to start to wonder. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ooh. We've never seen it fight like that. Nope. Not with Fury. 
Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> if he picks it up, are you going to shoot him? I'm not going to shoot him. He said, I'm going to shoot him. Take the rice so you can give it to people. Kisama, your name is... He wants to know your name. I'm not sure. Yep. No more this. We have a title. On the sample we did. Yeah. Yep. What made you go? Because you are. Yes, they do. Oh, dude. Come Come on. On. No, you're not. No, you are not. What do you want to do? Everybody has to. You're not going to die. You're not going to die. Get him. Crush him right now. Yeah. Your dignity, bro. I can't stand you. You're the worst kind of person. You are a traitor. The tin or the potato? Uh huh, uh huh. It's like a messy. Yeah. Clean oh. yourself up for the potato. Yeah, well, I don't really understand. <laughs> Why does she have to wash her face? She seemed pretty clean to me. This guy. I was hoping he'd make a return. Yeah. Oh. These dudes like marauding. Oh, and that's hey, a brother. It's Kite Boy. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Even they came back. So in the truck, was it a bunch of Japanese soldiers? I don't know if it was a soldier truck, but it seemed like it was a Japanese truck. truck yeah. Okay. yeah, I think in the moment I thought this was going to be some kind of Robin Hood face turn for them. But uh, no, they, they were just robbing folks from Foshan, fo folks from the mill. So, uh, you know, there you go. <laughs> oh, God. Ooh. Damn you, northern guy. Rematch, baby. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> oh, get there, get there. Yeah, it's a necessity. School right here. Long last. Come join Master Ip's School of Kung Fu. Aw, man's becoming a part of the community. Training montage sequence commence. Yeah. <laughs> Even family life is better now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ah, ah. Dude. Someone needs to desk this guy or relieve him of duty entirely. Teach me how to Dougie. Oh no. Don't no, no. Why did she make noise just then? No, no. No, no. No, 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 no. Ooh. <laughs> yes. Yes. This is going to be bad for you, but yes. They all have guns. Oh my god. Yes. Hey, guns don't mean shit right now. Yeah. Do you think he knew that they said she's very pretty? I wonder. Yeah. I feel like he, he got could, the he sense, could get the yeah. intent, yeah. Oh, 
彼を阻めず、私には本当に。食得饭我叫你哋，啊，李超，我冇事喎，真系唔知讲咩好。You did the right thing in the end. 嗯，去边度？去香港。其实去边度都冇所谓。嗯。Asgard is a people. Oh, this guy comes back? No. You, I mean, you're either with us or you're against us. You got to team up. The enemy of your enemy is your friend. You need to be our friend right now. Yeah, you cannot you, be causing this kind of ish. You are not helping. You're not helping anybody's cause. Oh, yeah. They know how to fight now. Let's go. Sharks in the jet style. We're not going to fight you. I don't want you. Yes, let's go. Okay, this is the least realistic part, but I'm still really into it. Sure. They all learned how to fight like gangsters in a day. You know, they're taking some hits. Oh. Yep. Defend yourself. Oh. <laughs> Let's go, Ip. Let's go, Ip. Let's do it. But Ip, you're supposed to be in hiding, honey. It's okay. He can't stay hid when there's injustice afoot. I love Ip. He is the best character. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> you ruined it. Oh, and I've been hungry every day since. Oh, Jesus. Don't do it. You're infighting. Oh, None boy. of you guys are the problem. Oh, the boy. <laughs> Let's go. Don't. Come on, dude. <laughs> He's got the ultimate rage weapon. And he doesn't know his do? brother's dead. Yes. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I'm pretty good with the bow stuff. Nicely done. And that must have been a nice soft landing. Do you think he ever opened it? Knowing him, probably not, probably right? Probably not, yeah. I would say it would respect the integrity. Oh, no. What is it? It's the kite. Oh, oh. It's his kite. Oh. Oh, he kept it with him. Oh, buddy. Nah, he's gonna go straight there. <laughs> or maybe, oh, he might be right because he's gotta protect the people, right? Yeah, he's just gonna go have it out once and for all. ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。
No, you didn't, honey. That was not a tantrum. Yes, you did, babe. Oh, it was a different time. You did. You're amazing. Loves you so much. Yeah. You both, he could have showed up for the kid more before. You need a little tension you in your life. Yeah, it's okay. You both have a character arc. <laughs> All right, what do you think? Ip's going to lose, and uh, everyone's just going to be subject to that much more tyranny. Don't say that. <laughs> Well, we got it. We, we understand. Oh, wow. Ugh. What a way to stand. Like learning ballet on the side. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Whoa. Damn, dude. Nice <laughs> use of leverage. I am so invested right now. Yeah. Breathless. Oh, -ho! I would so love it if he just got knocked out of bounds and they were like, and the Japanese win. Yeah. Ah. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes. Ah. <laughs> oh, don't shoot him. Come don't, on. Don't shoot him. Punch him. Yes. Oh. Oh no, what she went there? Why? Why'd she go? I don't know. <laughs> Going right back to basics. I feel like they're gonna shoot him. No, they can't. But you saw the guy reaching for his gun. Surrender. God, that look on his face. <laughs> oh no, I'm nervous. No, no. Oh no. Oh. Oh. I knew it. I knew damn it. Damn it. This, this guy. Someone needs to smack the shit out of that guy. That's a pretty high wound. You, you could get the blood out. I was thinking that, but. Yep. That's all we needed. Yeah. Kill him. Kill Come him. Come on, dude. Yep. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, jeez. Oh. oh. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, God. This is not a good way to save somebody's life. Yeah, you're going to crush him. Is anybody a doctor? Wow. Huh. Oh, no way. My man. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Wow. Oh, wow. Oof. 
Strange question mark. Hey, you sure about that subtitles? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dang. I can see why you wanted to learn from him. <laughs> that was truly unbelievable. God, what a movie. So uh, what do you make of how much of that do you think is true, real? I was just wondering that. Yeah, I have... I mean, the I timeline no and the idea. history aspect of it feels very real. I'm curious about the actual it man of it all. Yeah, me too, because I've heard, you know, in hearing about this movie over the years, people have often gone out of their way to be like, yeah, it's the, it's the story of Bruce Lee's master. Like, you know, it's it's embellished a lot. Uh, but yeah, it's it's based on that true story. And, and here watching this, this felt more grounded and more historical than I was expecting. Like, I came in expecting a lot of crazy ass fights and stuff like that and the fights are amazing but like i expected almost every fight just from hearing about it over the years to be like yeah 10 people at a time like that one uh and it's not exactly that so i, I would be fascinated to see and, and i don't have the best you know historical knowledge of this period this conflict etc this part of the world but, uh, that's the that's the part that's crazy because it says you know August 1945. So obviously we uh, know that's I, obviously World War II is near and dear to my heart as my family comes from Eastern Europe and is Jewish. So, sure. that, but I think about it on that front. I am so ignorant when it comes to um, I know more a little bit about the Japanese front, but not with regards to China. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and you can kind of look like look watching at this and knowing the dates and no know, having a little bit of an understanding of the world, but being like, what happened there? Yeah, like I, yeah. that is actually a big blind spot for me. Um, you know, we, we think about Japan in regards to the United States. We don't yeah, think about Japan totally. in regards to um, wherever in China that, you know, they said from 300,000 people to 70,000 people. And it's like, what? I don't even know that story. Yeah, absolutely. And then it makes me wonder then, I'm like, okay, so what was our relation to China then during all of this? Because again, in America, you, you have Pearl Harbor, you have all those... Right, with Japan. Yeah, so you, you have the, the very vivid Japanese-American conflict. Right. But what was our yeah relation to China during the time, if any at all, really? Yeah, you think enemy of your enemy is your friend, but also I think more we were fighting on the eastern european front sure so, yeah. yeah just that's a, a big blind spot so it was it almost made it more enticing of a movie because i genuinely was like what is that? what's gonna happen here yeah a hundred percent like I, I really enjoyed that that historic it, it, it's it's weird because it does put you i feel like oftentimes when you figure out like oh, okay this is a true story this is based on history so you feel like it won't be like I feel like in in some cases that will ground you and make you sort of less expecting of the unexpected. Whereas here I was like, man, this is like a situation I I knew this is expanding my pre existing knowledge on World War Two and just the time leading up to World War Two and things like that. Like I was completely unaware that It Man was. I guess at this point, do we call it? This is a World War Two movie, right? Yeah, I mean, it's historical fiction. I mean, it encompasses Takes that. Takes place during that time. Yeah, that time, and then up until, you know, slightly... I mean, you know, the, the epilogue gives you the information as to what happens slightly after, but, but yeah. Yeah, it says, a highly skilled fighter sets out to defend his people amid simmering tensions and brutal conditions in China under Japanese occupation. Yeah. So I, I just knew of this as a fighting movie. I knew of this as like an action packed, but the whole historical relevance of it was really just next level elevated it. Yeah. But then completely apart from that, the, the story is so beautiful. Yeah. It, the story of him and his family, the story of him helping his people, the story of even when you have nothing, giving everything you have to your loved ones. I loved that. Yeah. And, and like, I, I really loved how grounded a lot of this was because, again, I went in expecting something a little more mystical, a little more stylized, whereas this felt like it was just as dedicated to living in the time and place that it was depicting and living in just the people's lives of the day. And I, and I loved how it took you from, you know, and in, you know, like in fitting with movie structure, you take us from the status quo of like everything's great. Everything's at least, you know, you have this conflict with this guy from the north coming into town trying to prove himself. But you see the status quo of just what flourishing life is like uh, in what is it called? Foshan. And then, you know, watching then the huge contrast descend as 
you know, the Japanese invade. Uh, yeah, it just made everything like way more tangible and way more affecting than I was expecting. And so it, it, it made me want to go out and like learn more about the history, but I also just found myself appreciating. Yeah. Like, like we were both pointing out, you were especially were pointing out like the set designs are beautiful. It's so well crafted and realized and caringly recreated. You know? Yeah. So incredible. And I'm with you. I did think that this was almost going to be more, like just bigger and more fantastical kind of. And it, it, and some moments it is, there are some moments where it's like, you know, uh, just so wild, like everybody in the street or like, we're all coming to your house and we're coming inside. And it feels like I said, at times it feels like a musical, like a West side story, but really at its heart, at, at its core, it was so grounded, which is kind of bizarre. Not what I was expecting from this. And it does make me want to go do more research, which you know is a sign of a good movie when you're immediately yeah. like, I've got to start Googling because I need know, to know more about Ip Man. I need to know more about this time period in this location. Uh, it, yeah, and, and the infighting part was so interesting that they that they have that in this where it's not just the Japanese occupation of um, this area of China. It is the uh, it is. Chinese people and Chinese people fighting with each other because they don't want to be bullied. Like as they said that, yeah. and if that obviously resonates with this country right now, I forget which stand up comedian I was talk- uh, not talking to, I was listening to the other day. It might have been in Chris Rock special where he was talking about, you know, half the people right now, if Russia came here, half the people would be like, let's hear them out. Cause we, there's so much <laughs> infighting in the United States where we're not yeah. even on the same page. And it's like, you would like to think everybody joins together in a time of war. But in this time of war, I thought what was going to happen is that once we, the, the Japanese occupation comes, we both thought like, Oh, they're coming back and they're coming to help and they're not coming to help. They're coming to harm. And it's like, Whoa, that is realistic, but also gut wrenching. You came back and then you came for your own people. Ooh, that was a great theatrical choice but brutal. Yeah, and I and I wonder how that moment would play if if you are familiar with both Japanese and Chinese because when he comes into the into the road there and he stops the truck, I think yeah, it creates this idea of like, oh man, he's about to throw a wrench in their system. But you know, you you see at least one brief shot of the people in the truck and you're like, this just look like two regular people though, I wonder. And then yeah, yeah. yeah. And 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 it goes by quick enough that you're still just sort of charged up. Like that's the thing is this movie has the emotional impact that makes you like charged up. Like it has the emotional experience that I think I was expecting going in, but yeah, with like way more grounded and interesting circumstances. So that yeah, when he comes back to town with the brother it is like a greater part and it's a part of the conflict that I'm glad they touched upon because I feel like in any culture, this is liable to happen. You'll have your people who are under the thumb of the tyranny. You'll have your people who are trying to fight back in some way. And then you'll have your people on the margins who are doing their own program, trying to scavenge and survive. And, you know, really every man for themselves, basically. And then there's people who go into those classifications at a different time. Like we saw with trader. Yeah. Trader was at first in one of those genres and then was like, or in one of those groups and then was like, I cannot betray my people like this, even if it kills me. And I can't really delude myself into thinking that I'm somehow helping to ease tensions between us. I'm a translator. I'm a translator. You're still we, helping yeah. their operation more than you're helping, you know, until powers. he wasn't. Yeah. Until he wasn't. That yeah. was so every character served a purpose too, like the the nephew and the son, the wife, um, the guy that borrowed money from him, the yeah. brother and the guy with the kite and his brother. Just there were so many characters that I cared about and we wanted to see what ended up happening. the traitor. Uh, the general of the Japanese army's right-hand man who we hated, who yeah. was even a bigger villain than the general himself because you couldn't trust him. There's just so many people in this that I was like, I am curious what happens with you. Your character is so developed in my mind, even though they might not have spent that much time with you. Yeah. I am shocked with how much I love this. Yeah, and it unfolds in a really natural way that doesn't feel overly contrived. Like, part of me, again, they get to the whole, like, gladiator you know, they're they're all barred up and they're going onto the mat and fighting for rice. And I was like, 
partway through, I was like, okay, so here's where all the, the shit's going to go down. But no, not not even really. Like, we check out of there for a good long time, and, and we just feel, yeah, the time and the geography and the life of the situation. And I love the way that, yeah, you, you just... Like I, it's one of those movies where the pacing feels so natural that you're never really thinking of the mechanics of what the pace is doing and why certain moments are where. So it creates this really natural blossoming from, or I guess wilting out of, yeah, you know, the again status quo of life and and seeing Ip Man as he was then, so poised, always gentle and smiling, you know, certainly willing to you know engage in a duel or whatever, but a, a guy who is but not always, initiating. Yeah, and then seeing how that adjusts itself, how that poise adjusts to the descent into the tyranny and and seeing how he still has so many of those same, you know, core tenets of his character, even though they're slightly different because of the circumstances, he is still kind of giving off that same impression. It's so much about how he carries himself and holds himself. And that creates this really great mystique around him in a way, even though he does just feel like a, like a man. And then everybody else around him feels that much more human as a result. And and like, I think it's good that the movie. It's like it would have been more of a movie choice to have that one right hand man. You know, I wanted to see him get his ass beat, you know, at the end after after shooting him and all that stuff. Uh, but it's not exactly that kind of movie. And that's OK. You know, yeah. I, you know, the, the first act or however long that was where we just from the start of the movie to the point where he beats the butt of the guy who uh, comes in to start his own school yeah. in his house. Yeah. I had turned to you and I said, what do you think is going to happen here? Because I thought that was the villain of the movie. And yeah, that was yeah, going to yeah. be the whole movie, you know? So I'm like, okay, so maybe they have to draw or he has to lose because we got to fight this guy again at some point, thinking that that's the whole movie. And had that been the movie, had that been the theme of the movie, had we not had all any of the other like development? Dueling schools and yeah, stuff. Dueling yeah, schools in the streets and who gets to have the schools there and what matters in terms of, uh, can you still have a teacher who isn't the the most powerful can they still teach whatever i thought that that's kind of the themes we were going with and i was thinking to myself okay i'm down for this ride yeah like, it wasn't like i was sitting there thinking oh i'm bored this is whatever but then the movie decided to be so much more than that it decided to then be like oh you thought you knew what this movie is you don't <laughs> you don't know what life is because you know what's around the corner an occupation yeah, that you can't like action movie hero your way out, out of. of. In you a, did not yeah. see this coming because nobody sees war coming like this. Like exactly, and it just it hit both of us. We kind of turned to each other and we're like, "What? Yeah, <laughs> Wait, like, what oh, is this da- movie? Oh, shit just got real. Yeah, <laughs> really real. Yeah, Jeez. and the colors changed and the atmosphere changed. The prop, everything just looked so different as it would during wartime. And then I turned to you and said, "What was the year on that?" Just thinking like. Oh my God, we're we're in on uh, in this planet. Yeah, at, like this is we're in history. Yeah, we're, yeah. In, we're in history. Yeah, but that was just such a g- great job of. I don't think that they were trying to trick us, but of starting with one thing that would have been a good movie, solid, but then turning it into a great movie by being like this. There's so much more going on here. Yeah, that's the fun part about watching something like this a little after a lot of people and, and not coming in having seen like a trailer and all sorts of other stuff is yeah. like you have a couple notions of what you might expect. You probably know Donnie Yen. And then, yeah, it, it really, this was, you know, what I love so much about various cinematic experiences and especially ones like this. And, and I love too, that like I have more experience when it comes to, you know, historical operatic Chinese cinema stuff, you know, like, like your obvious things like a crouching tiger or hero or house of flying daggers or something like that. And this has less of the fantastical operatic side of that, but it does have that, you know, traditional history mixed with just dramatic cinema. Like it, it has all the action. It is an action movie, but it really feels like a historical drama that just so happens to center around people who practice and communicate via in certain situations, 
the martial arts. Yeah, I would say that the strongest part of this film is the story. I know. Yes. So isn't, that, isn't that crazy? Like yeah. You would think that when we were seeing the costume design and everything, I'm sitting there thinking, of course, the strongest Beautiful. part is going to be the martial arts and then yeah. it's going to be the design of it all. But the strongest part to me, and this is no knock on anything else, no. is the story. Yeah, no, it's like it's a it's like in the best way possible. That's an awesome surprise because if the story is good, that only makes the action that much better, and that only makes it more of a complete and well rounded film. And and even other things like I love being able to sit through a movie like this and be like, wow, like what interesting choices of the color grading, and you know the way they've chosen to frame certain things. And it's like it's got a lot of very lovely and and striking and deliberate imagery throughout, and harsh imagery especially throughout. Mm-hmm. Um, but really all, harsh and the flashes of some really harsh imagery yeah and like the way they draw those contrasts and the way they highlight you know it's like it man you could argue like you know he is so poised and in so many situations you're like well he's he's got this but it's all the other intonation of of emotion that they put both on his character through the visual storytelling, but also just through the greater tapestry of all the other characters around that really creates something that feels still rich and emotionally alive, you know, even though, yeah, I mean, he is, it's about him kind of learning his place. It feels like in this greater than life conflict and learning how to apply his skills, you know, yeah, his, his value, his skills, and yeah, the value, like the true values and tenets of what the martial art is for, and how he might be able to, yeah, inspire and empower the people around him, not just as a teacher for the clout of a school, like we see at the beginning, but like for the the real reason these arts exist. It's like you know, you got to imagine. They always say like, you know, you learn this stuff for defense. You don't want to have to use it. Whereas you know, he finds a situation in which no. These people need this. Yeah. Yeah. The the lesson in that also being that it teaches you principles that you apply in life, such as in life, you do what you have to do. (laughs) So as he turns to his wife and says, I haven't had to work now I do. So I'm going to do that. And the humility that it takes to know that you went from being this rich, well-known in your town, respected guy to shoveling coal. And he doesn't seem to have any judgment on that situation. That's negative. He yeah. just knows in life, I, I don't want to fight. I don't, I'm not looking to fight. I don't want to have to shovel coal, but you have to do what you have to do based on the cards that you're dealt. And therefore I'm going to do that. So he d- is able to apply those lessons outside of martial arts and then teach other people to apply those lessons, which is really cool. And then the other thing that I will say about this that I thought was interesting, and I know that I get knocked on this all of the time from my friends, my family, and from people on the internet, which I completely get because it makes me sound so ignorant, is that I have a hard time with foreign language films because (laughs) I am partially dyslexic and it takes me a really long time to read um, things. And so oftentimes I go dubs, not subs, which I know people, I know people hate. I know. When I tell people that, it honestly, they treat me like I I murdered their firstborn. Like they, they, people hate that. And I get it. Flaw, I yeah. it is a character flaw and I and <laughs> no, I understand why because as an not. artist it is uh disrespectful at times to not be able to pay attention to the the original art and um I really do try recently I'm really trying to train myself you know if you have to pause you have to pause whatever but I was so invested in this story that I really forgot that I was reading yeah. And it was like just going there. It was not over dialogue heavy, mm-hmm. which was helpful. Uh, it was more in like their, the facial expressions and the moments and whatever. But for me, somebody who does struggle with foreign language films, it, to love it to this extent is even just m- more credit to this movie that it yeah. was like just it was a, a cakewalk in terms of the subtitles. That was uh, I hope that it doesn't deter anybody because it was just so well done yeah absolutely it it, it yeah it, like the the there's good 
I would, you know, I'd say it's a well-written movie. There's good dialogue throughout, but it is one of those movies that's also very well visually told. So yeah, it's like there isn't a lot of laborious dialogue that you got to really keep up with to understand. Like you know? exposition stuff can get really hard when it's yeah. like, remember last Tuesday when you called my uncle and, and I'm like, I've lost the... Is, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. Give me littler chunks, please. Sure, sure. And this is the perfect blend of, of yeah, like there is context and there is certainly... You know, certain stuff that you can only get out via dialogue, but there's so much of this that is so very universal and clear through, yeah, just bolstered by those visuals and bolstered by just the emotional, again, the subtle emotionality of the filmmaking on display in general. Because, yeah, if they can get you to that place where you're not even thinking about it, that's that's the ideal. And they really did. They yeah. really did. I was able to turn that nervous part of my brain off. Like, am I going to be able to keep up and really just enjoy the ride? Yeah. That was so good. So good. And I, it makes me wonder like, well, how on earth do you turn this into a franchise? See, yeah, there's, Ip there's Man Ip 2 Man, and 3. I think there's It Man 4. I think there's a lot of It Mans. So I'm like, they must at some point like ascend into a certain level of fantasy or, or you know, I, I don't know. Are the other I, ones known as have... being good? Do we know? I think it's a well-liked series overall. I mean, I think, I, I don't, my guess from the outside is I would be surprised if they are able to maintain all of the, um, you know, coalescing genres that make this movie what it is. Right. I, I, I guess me, I would expect for the sequels to increasingly lean into the mystique and, you know, the crazier and crazier fights and things like that. But I don't know. I, I don't like you see the epilogue, you know, and they tell you sort of the, the wrap up history of how he goes on to start his school and then, you know, train all these people. And, and that has to be true. Lee. Right. Yeah. And I mean, like that's my main association up until now was like, Oh, it's, it's loosely based on the guy who, who trained and inspired Bruce Lee. Um, so, so having that in mind, you know, like, I feel like there's plenty of room for them to, to, get bigger in terms of fantasy but yeah just thinking about those moments i was like so are they gonna do they leave anything out that will lend themselves to a sequel story because it seems like he just kind of went on and lived his life and opened his school and realized that new aspect of the dream in hong kong etc um yeah everything else feels like it's probably not as grounded in the truth yeah probably so I'm they like, go off with the character and yeah I'm they didn't like, know how big the franchise was gonna be is it man 2 just gonna tell the story of you know it's the 60s and he's running a school <laughs> like i don't know yeah I'm not, I'm not sure about that either it is rated r are you surprised by that or because of the violence you think that that makes I'm sense I'm not surprised. It's not the hardest R I've ever seen, but it is one I think that deliberately uses the harshness of, again, wartime and at least a, a, there are enough really pointed blood gags and and you know like when that one guy gets shot in the you know sparring dojo, like that's pretty hard. The bloody rice. Yeah. So it's it's one of those things where. You, I wasn't thinking at all about the rating, but I'm not surprised it's rated R uh, because, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's getting into pretty harsh territory and there is just like, you know, people can hit a, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And even though it's not the bloodiest movie ever, you know, you've seen bones breaking, you're seeing a fair amount of blood when it's appropriate. So, yeah, I, I feel I feel the R on this. And I feel like that substantiates some of that historical drama, too. You know what this is going to end up being? Like a movie that I tell people, if oh, have you not seen this, you have to go watch yeah. it. You know, I, I can just tell immediately it, while I was watching it in my head, I was thinking, I got to tell my friends. Yeah. Like, and I'm sure most of them are like, yeah, it came out over a decade ago. I've seen it rocks. But this is one of those things where I feel late to the party and I sure. need to make sure that nobody else is, misses the party. Yeah. No, 100%. It's, it's one of those movies where it's, I have that same inclination. I'm like, oh, I got to go talk about this as many people as possible or tell people to see it. And it's so cool because, again, like it's not John Wick and I love a John Wick movie. I'm excited for Donnie Yen to be in John Wick 4. But like this is like such a film and it is so, again, it has all that badass, you know, fist pumping stuff that you want. And but it's not as fantastical even as like a crouching tiger. And yet it's not just that fist pump movie either. Like it's it's kind of an, a nice niche for this uh, kind of cinema to me where I feel like, you know, if you've seen a lot of the biggest crossover hits that have come to America, but you haven't seen this, this might, you know, fill in a part of the spectrum for you as it did me in a, in a fun way. 
Yeah, I'm so with you. That one scene where they come to him and his wife is standing over in the, the gun with the kid. That's so chilling. So and that guy's pointing like a real, real gun, gun at this child. I mean, like that's what the R rated kind of stuff. But that it yeah. was that was such a crazy scene. And also just so when he as he had been questioning, is my martial arts worth it? Like that do I have any value? You just protected and saved the lives of your kid and your wife. You have more value than anybody could possibly have, you know, like you yeah. saw what was gonna happen there. And oh. it's and it's not about clout or anything like that. Like I, I did love you know, again, it gives you so many threads to to think it'll follow. And yeah. and yeah, at the beginning with that other master. And I was like, oh, here we go. You know, mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. but even seeing the way that that evolved and letting every character really feel like a, an alive, actual character. You see that guy later on and he's holding his own. He tries to fight three guys and it doesn't go well, but he's holding his own. Yeah. You know, like there's just so many nice little living earmarks and elements that they threw in is like yeah this this is fantastic it's so good so good we, we open it's all the flags and i was thinking that's a lot of flags but it's <laughs> i didn't wasn't thinking it's because they're about to be replaced as well, they're going to be occupied you know like they have so much um nationalism and so much uh like pride in their country and then well and you just see how built up and how how sort of bustling and f- and f- it at least seems very flourishing at the top where yeah. where it's you know it's bright it's in the 30s but it still has that kind of not cyberpunk, but you know, like you're used to cutting to like a city in China or Japan. And it's like signs on signs on signs on advertisements. And like, there is that kind of flourishing cultural center quality and the amazing food. And we're seeing like all about their culture in their, in their um, homes and their food and their businesses and their flags and their every, in their, um, the martial arts. Like it's, it was so, uh, true to their culture and then and to the spirit of martial arts in general yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and then to be have that taken over in such a short period of time we f- i felt like i knew how um i i knew how these people lived and then yeah. it was like now you don't live like this anymore well yeah and then and then yeah it's like barbed wire and and you know like big japanese you know kanji characters painted up all over the place and it's just it feels like it's been completely transformed in such a harsh way and 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 yeah it's like the movie i feel like overall does like a really cool job of embodying the spirit of and the reasoning behind martial arts like that debate that it man kind of faces throughout about how and why to use it and going from these scenarios where it's like ah it's kind of fun you know it's like for the clout of these different schools and then going to you know like really finding the true the core the deepest Centering. reason to mm-hmm. you know to take a stand and to act, it's really beautiful. Yeah, I'm so with you. Wow. Yep. yep A yep, plus. A plus. That yep. was like a 9.5 out of 10 for me. Absolutely. Not going to go full 10? Honestly, I'm trying to think what could have made it better. And I don't, I, I genuinely don't know. I just don't know if I've ever said anything is a 10. That was as good as movies gets for me. If that one guy had an extended sequence where they just like beat the shit out of him. At the yeah. end, then it would have been a 10. Totally. <laughs> totally. Yeah. All right. All right. You got any stray thoughts before we hit the road? I guess it's time to see Ip Man 2. Ip Man 2? Let us know in the comments if you want to see Ip Man 2, if you want to see any any other uh, badass and or super affecting martial arts joints you might want to see us check out. You know, leave a comment below. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Follow Roxy Stryer. Follow the world, girls. And last but not least, let's do a Patreon. Chris Wamoff. Chris, you are the Ip Man of the Patreon. Whoa. Yeah, no, Chris is great. Chris is always poised. Chris is always out there helping the people, but never asking for too much. He doesn't want to be in people's debt, and he doesn't even care to have people indebted to him, but he's always out there helping out. Wham, bam, yeah. thank you, man, yeah. Ip Man. Wham, bam, thank you, Ip Man. Yeah. There you go. You should create your own martial arts style, though. That's what I would want to see. If you had to tussle, if you had to throw hands, Chris, what would your approach be? What would be your technique? I want to know. Something leaning in with the pinkies. Yeah. Even the pinky can be kung fu, like uh, like everything everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's good. I like it. Well, Chris, be well. Uh, maintain your pledge. That's all we ask here. Uh, otherwise... We'll come over there. We'll jump you for honor. 
Yeah, <laughs> JK. exactly. JK, never pick a fight with Chris. Oh. Never pick a fight with Chris. Because even if you physically win, morally, he will defeat you 12 times over. We saw that happen in Ip Man. We did. That's why you are the Ip Man of the Patreon. Be well, my dude.